Hi right, guys, how are we all doing? Um, I'm continuing the build for the manhook. I'm just going to remove the tail plane, which I offered up earlier on. I can't quite fit it yet because I haven't hinged for the elevator yet. So I fitted the dowels yesterday evening, front and back, and I fitted, uh, I painted the cockpit area a bit of black. You saw the cockpit instruments. It's only a uh, printout, but they look good. Now, the very next job, I think, is to fit the push rods, the outers. So I'll just fetch those from over here Ooh. right then here's the push rods they are golden rods by Sullivan good make I just need the threaded bit and the clevis to put on the end but you slide really nicely because there's actually only eight contact points inside or on the inner which makes them incredibly slippery um, which is ideal so let's just turn this upside down turn you down a little bit a little bit more and let's just offer one up a minute as we do oh wind's blowing when is it never that is definitely long enough, isn't it? Because I've trimmed this one slightly. Yeah. So this is actually going to go. Because I'm adding these afterwards, the, after the body's been covered, I've got no way of fastening it halfway down, which is what I would have liked to have done. I might be able to think of a way to do it. We'll have to see. See if I just thread this down a bit if it proves it's too whippy I'm just gonna to have to take a panel out the bottom and glue them to a cross brace and panel it back up not the end of the world guys good for length I'll cut it off about about there give me a little bit of movement job done not bad quite clean and the other one wants to be cut the same size, but I'm going to thread it in. Yeah, that's pretty much the same length. So, I'm going to cut this one about there. Okay, I'm going to want to paint these, so I'm just going to rough them up a little bit. Also, it'll help the epoxy to stick it to the uh, balsa if it's scored up a little bit right that's enough to hold it so i'll mix up some epoxy resin and get those put in properly and i've got two i've got a nice piece of um yeah, three sixteenth square and this end, but just go in there a treat just to hold that servo, uh, hold the push rod rather. So I'll fix that in there, that's going to hold the end of those push rods there. Can you see that crossbar? Okay, now I'll glue that in, and then glue that, and then I can put a bit of glue or epoxy down on the back edge here so it'll be largely supported. So if it turns out it's too whippy, I'm just going to have to cut the panel out. No big deal. I won't glue that crossbar in yet until I know the exact height of the servos. Right, stand up for this. Okay, can you see that? You can. So what I need to do is to mill that out to the depth of that piece of wire this is going to take a keen eye and a steady hand I'm 
I'm pretty happy with that. So all we've got to do is, uh, oh, I melted a bit of uh, covering on that, but it's no biggie, because I can extend the uh, piece of ply at the back up over the top of that. So set that into epoxy. If it's worth just running some CA in there as well to stiffen it up a bit. Probably is, you know. Let's just cut that flat at the back. Take the pencil, put it on there. Length's going to be about to there. Right, that's good. That's in. That's going to be nice and solid. If it's going to land and try and come out, it's going to try and do that. And it won't be able to do that because it's going to be epoxied on it really well. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to epoxy it up. I'm just going to hold it like this. Oh, joy. Right, let's bend you down. I've got a stirring stick. I need quite a bit of epoxy on this, I think. Okay, let's get it on. With a little shimmy, spread it about. So for the next five minutes, I'm going to hold this down and I'll come back in five minutes because it's not worth you watching me. Okay guys, you've been gone five minutes or so, ten minutes maybe. Uh, the epoxy's are cured off, so obviously it's going to spend a bit more time hardening, but basically that's the tail wheel on. So there's another job ticked off the list. Just for the minute, I'm going to put the manic fuselage to one side, and I'm going to hinge the elevator, which I've been promising to do for uh, a few days. But I've decided I'm going to do it now. So, uh, just to refresh your memories if you're new, I didn't build this aeroplane and therefore I don't know if he's allowed for any holes or any trailing edge already. I don't think he has. Right, here's the hinges I'm going to use. Great Plains, three quarter inch by one inch ultra grip CA hinges, little furry hinges with a plastic core. They've got this fuzz on them. Now you've all seen so there's those rather clever little hinge hinge slotting um, uh, hinge slotters. I haven't got one, so I've got to do it in a scalpel. It's one of those things you think, should I buy? And how many hinges should I have on there? I think maybe the wire rod joiner goes to there so obviously I'll have to put one as close to there as possible because that's where the horn's going to be and there's going to be it wants to be one out towards the end is that too big a gap uh, okay so I'm going to start by running the slot down through here uh, basically I just get it eyed, eyed up and draw the knife carefully down the center of the elevator, in this case. Now I've had have noticed in the past that these hinges do uh, require a decent slot. By that I mean a little bit um, wider than the thickness of the hinge uh, because you end up scraping uh, scraping the little furry stuff off if you're not careful so another reason to buy one of those proper slot cutters and I promise I will do someday next time I'm at the model shop so there's a decent slot cut, but I very much doubt these are going to press in. Immediately it's starting to push off. 
the uh, covering so I'm going to try and cut a little slot right beside it it's all very well putting it in one half but it's not going to go in this half very well so there's one in I can see Avo's in straight away put the one in the other side of the in fact what I'll do I'll carry on with this uh, I'll carry on with this and I'll come back to you in a minute when I've done all four and uh, we'll take it from there all right see you in a minute all right I've done two they're going quite well third one I'm going to put in about an inch from the end is about that much sticking out actually involves cutting a slot right through the middle of this and that slot allows the um, CA to wick all the way down to the bottom of the hinge right so what I've done I've cut a slot like that down through the middle of the hinge now I'm going to see if I can put some CA on there and see if it will run down through the gap all the way down to the inside of the actual hinge itself take it off the edge and I'll see if I can pull it out now, that's not coming at all so there's a little tip for you guys cut a slot down through the hinge and it'll allow the CA to get all the way down just like to thank all my subscribers that are old and new uh, for actually subscribing it's it's wonderful having you subscribe to the channel because I know that I'm not sitting here on my own I'm sitting here with a part of uh, 300 people joining me wishing me well egging me on come on Cliff get that plane finished you can do it so you can see the construction on this side it looks like half inch by 3 16th but the nylon uh, comes down to the edge so just a slot straight through the middle you should see it done pick something about halfway or thereabouts I'm going slightly under halfway so as I can um, Put another cut line just on the other side of the halfway line and therefore trying to create a slot with some wood that I can remove if I can just run the blade back forward by using the back of the blade because the back of the blade is actually not got a you know it's, a, it's blunt so it tends to remove the wood a little bit more I think that one went quite well. I won't know till I come to put the hinge in, of course. Get these hinges in without destroying all the fuzzy wuzzy. Go in. Go in. Keep going in that's gone quite well what I normally do is to push it in as far as it will go and then operate the elevator and it will pull the hinge out to where it needs to be yeah now just make sure it's good side to side put lots on there right guys that's it elevator hinged the next job's going to be to put some um, glue the inside of these rods uh, using epoxy uh, and once that's done then I can fit the tailplane I think Unless I decide to fit the servo rails, 
might fit the servo rails next actually moving about without the tailplane on but I can certainly mix up some epoxy now and fit uh, fit the back end of that okay guys thanks for looking in and we'll get back to it in a minute I'm just taking a break for a well-earned piece of whatever she's making thanks bye we still there. 